documents revealing how Lois Lerner was actually involved. Of course, she's the former director of the IRS division that led the targeting effort against conservative groups seeking tax-exempt status. North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows is a Republican on the House Oversight Committee and my guest today. Great to see you, Congressman. It's good to be with you, Gretchen. Thanks so much. So these revelations have come out now in this report. If, if you had to tell me what you think the biggest bombshell is, what is it? Well, I think two things. One is Lois Lerner is at the center of this, and she had a hands-on involvement in terms of the targeting of conservative groups. So that's uh, one of the things that we know essentially that she's the central uh, person behind much of this, and, uh, and it's troubling, and the American people want to get to the bottom of it. So what do the emails actually prove? Because keep in mind, as I know our viewers remember, she's taken the fifth countless times, so we haven't really heard from her other than when she, before she took the fifth the first time, she said she had done nothing wrong. So what are we to learn actually from these emails? Well, and, you, and you're right. She said originally that she had done nothing wrong, but even in these emails, we know that there were rules that she's violated, so perhaps she's misled Congress, even in that limited testimony that she gave before pleading the fifth. But also, it talks about political targeting. Uh, the context of the emails talks about how effective many of the conservative groups were in their messaging and how she needed to, to address that. Mm -hmm. So do you believe after looking at this report then that this whole situation begins and ends with Lois Lerner? Well, it certainly begins with Lois Lerner, but it doesn't end there. And the American people deserve the truth. They, we need to get to the bottom of it. She is a key uh, part of this. But additionally, we know that uh, those above her uh, knew what was going on. We, we, some, we, we look at this and we see that, indeed, she was planning to change the rules for the 501c4s because of their effectiveness. And yet, hmm. you know, we've been led to believe that she's doing it as a result of some of uh, the investigation. That's been going so, on. in other words, you believe that she wanted to target them because she felt like they were actually working in America. Well, they were working, and as you start to see the context of those emails, it was all about, you know, trying to make sure that they didn't appear to be political. It was giving, you know, the, the veneer of being uh, nonpartisan when actually a lot of the efforts appear to be very partisan within the, the IRS. All right. Well, still so many questions, and of course, the president said there wasn't a smidgen of corruption. Uh, that remains to be seen. Who is right and who is wrong? Congressman, always great to see you. Thank you so much for your time. It's good to be with you. Thanks.